There are 11 saints associated with the Catholic Church in the United States. None of them are of African descent. But an initiative by the Institute for Black Catholic Studies at Xavier University in New Orleans wants to raise the profile of six Black Catholics, women and men who the church believes have saintly potential. Let's learn about these six extraordinary Catholics. Pierre Toussaint. Mr. Toussaint came to New York from Haiti in 1787 with the family that held him as an enslaved person. He worked as a hairdresser and was eventually released, becoming a formidable fundraiser, especially in support of Black Catholics throughout the United States. He opened the first Black Catholic school in New York and raised funds to start the city's first Catholic orphanage. When yellow fever broke out, many powerful and wealthy people fled the city for the countryside to escape infection. But Mr. Toussaint remained in the city to serve the sick and dying. Henriette Delille. Sister Delille was a nurse, teacher, and caregiver for the impoverished of New Orleans. Many of the people she cared for were black enslaved women and children. She founded a religious order of consecrated women in 1837 called the Sisters of the Holy Family. The community welcomed senior women into their home and cared for them through serious sickness and death, especially during the yellow fever epidemic of 1853. She opened schools for enslaved children of color at a time when educating them was forbidden by law. Augustus Tolton. Father Tolton was the first publicly acknowledged black diocesan priest from the United States. He was denied entry into any of the country's seminaries and forced to pursue studies for the priesthood in Rome. After ordination in 1886, Father Tolton asked to serve as a missionary in Africa, hoping to escape the racism in his native land. Instead, he was told to return to Quincy, Illinois, to which he and his mother had fled after being released from enslavement in Missouri. There, Father Tolton endured the racist attitudes and actions of the local white Catholic clergy. In 1889, Archbishop Patrick Fian of Chicago invited him to minister to the city's black Catholics. Five years later, Father Tolton had built and developed St. Monica, a black Catholic parish of about 600 people that became a national beacon for black ministry. Mary Elizabeth Lang. Mother Lang moved to Baltimore, Maryland in 1813 via Cuba after fleeing the revolution in her native Haiti. In the US, she used the wealth she inherited from her merchant father to provide free schooling to Caribbean migrant children. At that time, it was illegal for enslaved people to receive an education. In 1828, more than 30 years before the Emancipation Proclamation, Mother Lang opened a school for girls of color and asked permission to establish a religious congregation for black Catholic women. The Oblate Sisters of Providence were founded in 1829 and Mother Lang served as its first provincial superior. The sisters educated black children and illiterate adults, cared for widows and orphans, and offered support to many people during the cholera epidemic in the 1830s and 40s. Julia Greeley. Born into enslavement in Hannibal, Missouri, Ms. Greeley gained her freedom and moved to Denver around 1878. She worked as a housekeeper and the little money she earned is said to have been spent almost entirely on care for the disenfranchised. To spare white families the embarrassment of receiving charity from a black woman, she often carried out her charitable service at night. Ms. Greeley was baptized and received into the Catholic Church at the Jesuit parish of the Sacred Heart. In 1901, the Angel of Denver, as she became known, professed vows in the secular Franciscan order, remaining faithful to her promises until her death in 1918. 
Cynthia Bowman. Few people have tried to get the U.S. bishops to stand together and sing. But in 1989, that's exactly what Sister Thea Bowman was able to achieve. Inspired by the actions of women religious and priests at her school in Canton, Mississippi, she became a Catholic when still a young girl. At 15, she joined the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration and became the order's first black member. She earned a doctorate from the Catholic University of America in 1972 and was a founding member of the Institute for Black Catholic Studies at Xavier University in New Orleans. A teacher, singer, writer, and evangelizer, she delivered public lectures across the country as a sharp critic of racism. She died in 1990 of complications from bone and breast cancer. Each of these six extraordinary individuals witnessed to Christ in their own unique way. Let us pray that their causes move forward and that people everywhere will learn from and be inspired by these bold and faithful Catholics. Learn more at americamagazine.org or click the link in the description below.